it's no secret that Logitech products are mostly garbage. For example, this Pro X Super Light mouse is garbage in both materials and build quality and the software quality. And that is exactly why each and every streamer seems to have one, and each and every major tech-related channel is directly advertising having those Logitech mice, or at least product places them. Anyway, if you're unlucky enough to have one, and just have to use it until it dies, so you can finally get a new mouse from any other manufacturer, you're probably keen at least not to use the bundled Logitech software which is used to control the mouse. The mouse has some inbuilt memory, and you need to activate this internal memory mode to store your mouse profile's settings inside the mouse itself, so you don't have to use the software to configure them and switch between them. However, if you change the DPI, for example, for profile 1 to 800, the mouse responds and the DPI is now the new one. However, as soon as you close the software, DPI drop back to 400. The same happens for profile 2, for example. If you try to set it to 1300 DPI, it works until you close the software when it abruptly drops to the default 800 dpi. It turns out this software does not treat the settings that you have made as a profile until you import them from the default desktop settings. So what you need to do to change the profile settings, save them inside the mouse, and then stop using the Logitech software is to first set the needed dpi, then enable and confirm the internal memory mode by clicking on this little memory chip icon, then click on the mouse itself, and in the next screen click on the needed profile you want to import the settings you just made to, and then select replace with desktop default. And that's it. That's how you save the updated settings to the existing profile inside your mouse, and after you do that, you no longer need the Logitech software for your mouse to use the settings you want. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.